Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Luke, and uh, this is Frank. Uh, you may know me as uh, Sin City Preacher here on YouTube. And uh, Brother Frank and I are going to make a video series, uh, and the title is Salvation Through Works is Heresy. And this is uh, possibly the most important subject that we'll ever talk about. So, Brother, you and I, we, we spend uh, a lot of our time uh, doing evangelism. And as, a, as an evangelist, I think the primary goal we have is um, to tell people how to be saved. We want people to know how they can uh, have their sins forgiven and how they can enter heaven. And we know there's only one way. So what, what is the way to get into heaven? Well, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, no one comes to the Father except through me. And the Bible says that uh, God was pleased through the foolishness of what was preached to save those who believed. Now, what was preached that we must believe, um, that we must put our faith in to be saved is that Jesus Christ died on a cross for our sins, that He was buried, and that He rose again the third day. We, we must believe that He is God, and we must believe that what He did on that cross um, is what saves us. And that alone, it's finished. Okay. Uh, now, you and I have both spent uh, uh, a lot of time over the years uh, studying all kinds of theological subjects. Uh, we've studied about uh, the Tribulation, the Millennium, and we've studied Calvinism and Arminianism, and on and on, various subjects, and they're all interesting. Um, but I found that... Um, uh, when we get involved with a lot of these other subjects there, uh, uh, however interesting they may be, uh, they, they can be very distracting. They can very easily take our attention away from what is really most important, and that is what you, you just explained, the gospel for salvation. So, um, I, as an evangelist, you know, I want to spend most of my time, and uh, my efforts will be going into... Uh, as Jesus said, come follow me, I'll make you fishers of men. So we go out fishing for souls. We want to tell people how to get into heaven. And that's the foremost um, primary uh, goal in our lives. Yeah, well, Paul said in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, um, when I came to you, I didn't know anything save Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Because that's the only thing that will save you is uh, what he did on the cross. And, and, and you must trust in that for your salvation. So uh, studying the end times won't save you, will it? No. How about studying uh, like Calvinism and Arminianism and all the isms? Will that save you? No. So even though those subjects are interesting, and I, I don't want to give anybody the impression that we don't think they're important and worthwhile, but... Uh, it's not the gospel. Yeah. None of those things will, will save you. Uh, now... You know, and I, the viewers, you probably know, that I have made numerous videos in the past um, explaining the most fundamental, important um, concepts of for salvation. And you, got, you explained them very, very briefly. And that is uh, that Jesus Christ is God Himself. And, and I've, I have uh, not only uh, a video specifically giving enumerating many verses on that subject, but also a playlist with many other videos backing up the point that Jesus Christ is not merely a prophet, he's not merely a miracle worker, uh, he's not just a religious leader, but he is God Almighty himself. The, then, of course, I've also made a video and have playlists uh, going into great detail explaining that we're saved by the grace of God through our faith in Jesus Christ's death on the cross as a payment for our sins. Uh, and that alone and that uh, no other religious works are required for our salvation. So we've gone, we've made numerous videos, we have playlists to make th these points, and of course the other question is, can, can we lose our salvation? And uh, again, we, we have playlists and videos uh, clearly showing that we cannot lose our salvation. That when Jesus said it is finished on the cross, that uh, that means it, he not only finished everything that's necessary to save us, but to keep us saved. We cannot lose our salvation. 
but do you, do you encounter people that challenge these basic basic premises of Christianity, the deity of Christ, uh, salvation through faith alone, and eternal security? All the time. Uh, out in the, uh, the streets, uh, when, you, when you preach, you encounter these people. And, and on YouTube, I mean, there's people that can say that you can lose your salvation. Um, so um, they believe they can lose their salvation. Then um, why are you going out and telling people that, that Jesus Christ can give you eternal life? You know, if you don't believe it yourself. If you if you if you think that someone can lose their salvation, then don't tell somebody that Jesus will give you eternal life, uh, because uh, according to your theology, it's not true. So why are you telling others this that He died for um, uh, our sins and, and that He can give you eternal life? If, if you don't believe it yourself, if you believe you can lose it, then uh, it's not a, eternal life if you can lose it. Right, right. Well, uh, I'll. We're going to cover many verses in this uh, series here, uh, but to me, one of the probably the the most foundational verse that uh, we, I guess we should start off with is is Romans six twenty three, and that is uh, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Now, the reason that verse is so important is, is it explains the problem, and that is. Sin. Sin. We've all sinned, and because of our sin we'll die, and then we'll end up in hell. So we have the bad news in that verse. Yes. The beginning of it is bad news. The person has to understand that they've got a problem. They're in trouble with God because of sin. Okay? And then the second part of the verse gives us the solution. It says, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The good news. Okay? Yes. So this is the foundation of... Uh, of Christianity, I would say, is that uh, we're sinners and we need the Savior. What I've learned, though, is that uh, people I encounter when I'm street preaching and people I encounter with the dialoguing on uh, the internet here on YouTube, some of these people, it, it seems like uh, they don't want the gift of salvation. The Bible says that this is a gift that's offered to you through your faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, but for some reason, they ignore the word gift. They they don't I want to acknowledge that it's a gift, and they act like they're maybe too good to just accept it as a gift. Um, they seem to want to earn it, just and so they can say that, look what I did, I earned it, I deserve it. Um, well, like you said, you know, it is a gift. Uh, Jesus did his part. He died for our sins. He is the gift of God. Now, um, we must do our part. We must receive Him by faith. We must trust in Him. We must believe that what He did on that cross um, is all that is necessary for us to be saved. Um, as He said from the cross, He believed it. He said it's finished. He believed it. We must believe it to be saved. And then there's another group of people that uh, they get half of it right, it seems. They, they say, yes, you're saved by the grace of God through faith. But then they talk out of the other side of their mouth and say that you could lose your salvation. Um, Double talk. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, uh, it's one they, or the other. They don't believe that we have eternal security, this um, blessed assurance that uh, we're saved and it's past tense. So your salvation is on a loan, basically, according to them. And if you mess up, God's going to take it away. Right. So it's not a gift. They don't want to accept it. Uh, 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 some people don't want to accept the gift of salvation. Uh, they want to require works. And then another group of people, they want to say you can lose it. It's, there's no such thing as eternal security. Um, and these people are... It's frustrating to me to, to um, deal with them because why would a person want to uh, not accept a free gift from God? And why would a person want to uh, not have that... Uh, assurance and uh, rest be, and, and have peace of knowing that they can never lose their salvation. We're going to stop this video now and we're, we're going to have this, of course, is going to be probably a pretty lengthy series. So we'll pick this up in the next video.